Hey guys, so we are, we're sitting here with Venti. Hello, Venti. He's so handsome. He's been here since yesterday. He just doesn't like leaving. Like, he'll wander off and go wherever, but then he's right back here for the past two days. Isn't that right, Vent? Yeah. You're so handsome. You're so handsome. He had his food over there, but he was a, a piggy and ate it. There's a little thing of water, and I mean, he's got a little box over there to sleep in, but I don't think it's big enough for him. <laughs> if he's here, if he's here long enough, I'll, I'm gonna get him fixed, and I'm gonna try to get him to be an inside cat because it looks like he wants to go inside. Event. Ben, do you wanna come up? What is that? They're leaves, huh? Come on. He handsome. Yeah. So I try to go inside, and he'll try to get in, so he's apparently used to being inside, but it's like I don't know who he belongs to, and he's always over here now. Well, for the past two days, at least. Venti. <laughs> so handsome. Like I've said before, if people understood how uncommon flame point Siamese were, then he wouldn't be outside. Yeah. Who's <laughs> doing so Look at that face. He does have a little messed up eye on that side, like that film uh, is, is covering part of his eye, but that's just a genetic thing that happened when he was a baby, I'm sure. But he's a happy boy. Yeah, he got his food earlier, and then he'll probably eat again around five or six or so. Uh, we're just giving him the special kitty uh, wet food that's been sitting there for a while, and then once he runs out of that, I'm going to go ahead and start buying him real food. And Sam is being super jealous. <laughs> Venties, who is that? I know. What's Sam? <laughs> He's silly. But yeah, it's pretty warm today. It's like I didn't even want to come out here, but you know, since Venti is out here, he gives me a reason to, you know, come out. Look at that face. He's as happy as can be out here. I need to find a way to prop that open because it's like he has a hard time, I guess. Because he, he'll just be sitting on the steps until I come out here and open the door for him. So I gotta find a way to... There's like no latch or something to keep it open. So I've gotta find a way to keep it open for him. But, yeah, he just... He's been here for two days. And then he was here once before, like a couple weeks ago. And I guess this is just now his new permanent home, for the most part. You can see Sam trying to stick his little fingers out. <laughs> Sam! Silly boy. Venti. No. He's got like that kind of purr where it sounds like he's struggling to breathe, but it's just him purring. But yeah, yesterday I was sitting out here and I, I you know, I just did, and he would jump, he jumped up and he just laid with me for like 20 minutes. I was out here waiting for um, whoever it was going to be to come get me for, uh, so that way I could go to my friend's parents' house and it was like four something, but uh. I was just sitting out here with him, and he just was laying there with me for like 20 minutes or so. And then he woke up, and then he started licking himself, and then he fell back asleep. So, I mean, that's a sign that they'll tr they trust you, so. He already trusts me, and despite the fact that he doesn't even know me. But he seems comfortable enough. Isn't that right, Vent? I just like that name, Venti. You know, he is, you know, like Venti the character is the animal archon, he's got a freedom, 
that's kind of what he is. I mean, he's free out here. He can come and go as he pleases. He can do whatever he wants. And yet he always he knows that now that he has a place to go. You know, he's going to get food and water and attention. So, he's kind of like the Adamo Archon, where he's free. And then he always just chooses to come back home, where he knows he's appreciated. So, another reason why I call him Venti. Tell me what's in your eye. You have some crusty in your eye. Come on. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> but I want to fix him. And first things he does, first thing he needs is a bath. I mean, he doesn't smell or anything. It's just he's got leaves all up in him. Isn't that right, Bub? Yeah. You got leaves. Leaves all over you. Yeah. Come on, Bub. Sweet boy. Anyways, I'm going to go. I'm going to sit with him for a little bit, and then I'll do whatever. Oh, there he is. Hi. See? This is how you know they're comfortable. That, and he's making biscuits. He makes cheese biscuits. You know, like the ones from Red Lobster. What? Hi, Bubba. So beautiful. Plain point Siamese cats. Incredibly rare. <laughs> what are you doing, that, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? Anyways, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>